Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Vice President Kamala Harris. She had a plan for this debate against former President Donald Trump on Tuesday. That plan it just got torpedoed. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, guys, Please visit that address in the lower right hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at explain America. Hit subscribe for, for absolutely free when you get there. It really helps us out. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you I want your thoughts on this right in the beginning. Kamala Harris was just discovered. Politico is reporting it. It's breaking news. Politico just reported, and Frank Luntz, top pollster, has confirmed that Kamala Harris's debate strategy was not really to answer questions. She was going to just fact check in real time what former President Donald Trump was saying. That was the plan. To totally avoid her position changes, to totally avoid talking about what her plans are, to totally avoid talking about what she believes in, to totally avoid talking about how she would improve the United States. No. She wanted to prosecute, essentially, former President Donald Trump on stage. This plan has been torpedoed because ABC News has said no. We're sticking to the original rules. The microphones are going to be muted when your opponent's talking. Now, I thought she wanted to do the whole I'm speaking thing when Trump interrupted her. But apparently, no, she wanted to interrupt him with fact checks, which is totally crazy and, and hard to believe, really. That being said, Chris Kaliza, who used to work for CNN, and this guy is a top political analyst, a top political mind, he said that Kamala Harris is nervous about debating Trump and that she should be, because Trump has much more experience and Harris is not a great debater. So all this really sets the stage for Trump to maybe deliver a knockout blow like he delivered against Joe Biden, the president of the United States, in their debate. So again, I want to know your thoughts on this, guys. So I want you to watch this video from Chris Kaliza and then let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, Tara Reid, not that Tara Reid. How do you think Kamala will fare in the debate? My guess is we'll be here next week talking about Kamala fumbling the debate. Mm, I don't know, is the answer. Look, she's not been on this big a stage before, which honestly very few people have. Though I think it's important to note, I, I talked about this on TV, humble brag, recently. Donald Trump has been in, this will be his seventh, sorry, I'm pounding the table, seventh uh, general election presidential debate, seventh. That's more than anyone in history. So I think there is a level of kind of uh, comfort there for him. And, and she's never been in a presidential debate before. She's been in a vice presidential debate, but never a presidential debate. Um, so I do think she is going to probably be a little bit more nervous. Uh, I think she has more riding on it. I don't think Trump's numbers, look, I've said this before. Trump has a very high ceiling in terms of voter support, like 45% and a very, excuse me, a very high floor in terms of voter support and a very low ceiling. He basically moves between 46 and 48% of the vote. He doesn't go to 52 or 51. He doesn't go to 40. So I don't know how his numbers move. I think she has potentially more movement there. I don't think she'll fumble it though.